the ongoing weakness in the office sector isn't going anywhere. The major headwind will cost banks as much as $250 billion. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero with more. Danny, what are you watching on this? Rochelle, what's going on in the commercial real estate sector doesn't look pretty. And the major stress here is the low occupancy rates due to the ongoing work from home phenomenon, the hybrid that we have been seeing, and also the higher interest rates is putting pressure on landlords that have to refinance their loans in the near term. Most of the owners of the commercial real estate sector have been able to take advantage of those near zero uh, interest rates over the past decade. Well, that's not happening anymore. And if we combine the higher rates with the falling property values, that could be one of the one-two punches that the commercial real estate sector is, is dealing with and could lose, some of the banks could lose um, over 2.5 billion dollars. That's what one hedge fund manager is saying out there, Kyle Bass. He revealed that banks are really under a lot of pressure right now, especially the office space. And that could represent about 10% of the combined $2 trillion in equity and commercial real estate that the banks are exposed to. Bass says that there's other areas of commercial real estate that actually are doing well, that have somewhat of a leverage right now and are solid. Some of those are the industrial real estate uh, market, multifamily housing, which we definitely need in the U.S., and the data center spaces, Rochelle. And staying in commercial real estate, let's also pivot to the high-end mall space. We're seeing the European owner of Westfield now scrapping the plan to sell nearly all of its U.S. properties. Univale Rodamco Westfield is planning to hold some of their top performing malls. So, Danny, can you tell us what this means then? It, at first, everyone thought the mall was dead. Well, not every sector in commercial real estate is doom and gloom. And this is just a prime example from the European owner of the Westville malls, really backtracking and pulling back its original plans of really getting rid of its American profile. So last year, the company said that it would sell its American profile, but now the plans have really changed after, you know, kind of seeing what's going on on the forefront. But also we have to highlight that they have in invested billions of dollars in some of these malls. And if you invest, most likely some of that will be uh, in return. And so that's what we're seeing. One of the prime examples of this is that they expanded in the San Jose, San Francisco area. And so that mall has really been seeing a lot of uptick. But overall, this really does signal that the mall maybe not is is dead as of right now, but depend adding those attractions, investing in these malls, is likely obviously pulling some foot traffic in, Rochelle. So perhaps the, the mall is on crutches, but at least not dead yet. There's still, still some movement going on there. Thank you, as always, our very own Danny Romero. Thanks so much.